Hello and welcome to part 5 of my XLights tutorial series. In this tutorial I will be covering sequencing, how to start a new sequence, adding your display elements or your models to that sequence, and creating timings for audio tracks. In the description of this video you'll find a direct link for downloading the XLight software. There's also a link to download a sample show directory which is what I am working off of here in these tutorials, so you can follow along with us that way if you wish. I also have a few links to my personal display, so you can see what I've done with the XLite software. So let's go ahead and get started here with uh, creating our first sequence. If you've been following along in our series of video tutorials, you should have already set your show directory, set up your lighting networks, then we went ahead and created all of our models and created all of our model groups. Now for the sake of time here, I've already gone ahead and uh, finished off the models where we left off with in the last video tutorial and finished off my groups. Um, you'll see I created uh, different groups for my top outlines, bottom outlines, all outlines, snowflakes, so on and so forth. So everything is grouped up together in different groups, so I can place elements in those specific groups. So now we're ready to sequence. The first thing we want to do is go up to the File menu and create a new sequence. And this gives us a choice, and this starts the wizard. We can either do a musical sequence, where it's synced up to an mp3 file, or just an animation sequence that has no music at all. We're going to go ahead and create a musical sequence. And it first asks you to choose your audio file. And again, if you're following along and you've downloaded our sample directory, I've placed a song in there called Jingle Bells. So we're going to go ahead and use that for the purpose of our tutorial. I'm going to open that up. The next part of the wizard asks us how many frames per second we want to use. Um, keep in mind the more frames per second is going to result in a larger file size, but also allow you to uh, get more detailed in with your timings. Versus a 10 frames per second will be a smaller file size and will allow you to... Uh, versus a 10 frames per second which is going to be smaller file size and not allow you as much flexibility with your timings. Uh, if you're not sure, you just you want to use 20. Um, that's a good rule of thumb. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and use 20. And if you already have a sequence made in a previous program, you are able to import uh, your data from that sequence in this screen. Um, in this case, we're just going to go ahead and start from scratch, so we're going to skip this step. And again, we can, from this point, we can edit the metadata, import different timings, um, or we can just click done and, and get started here. So we're going to go ahead and click done. So now that XLights has imported our audio file, our next step is we're going to want to import or add in our uh, groups that we made previously in the layout screen. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and right click here where it says new timing. We want to actually right click and we want to edit display elements. Now when we do that, it gives us a new window. Uh, what we want to do under timings and models is we want to add a new timing or model. So we're going to go ahead and add. And at the beginning of my list here, where all my groups are, I happen to group mine by number. Um, this just made it easier for me to um, visualize where everything is and how I wanted everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just select, I'm going to shift click all of my groups that I've created. I'm going to go ahead and add those elements in. So you can see once I clicked add, it went ahead and added them in under the timing up here. We're going to go ahead and close this down now. So now we have all of our groups in here. Now 
Now that we have our groups in place, the next step is going to be creating our timings. So under the new timing here, that by default, you can create multiple timings by right-clicking and adding a timing track. Um, you know, if you want different effects to take place on different beats of the music, you can, you can get as detailed as you want with that. For the purposes of our tutorial here, we're just going to go ahead and stick with one timing. Before we get started with timings, I want to go ahead and save my setup the way I have it so far. So I'm just going to go ahead, you can either use your save buttons in the toolbar, or I'm just going to go file, save, sequence as, and I'm just going to call this Jingle Bells Sample. So now let's go ahead and create some timings. Uh, the easiest way I've found to create timings is I'm going to go ahead and go to the start of the song here and zoom on in. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can either, throughout the song, if you know visually where you want your uh, changes and effects to take place, you can just go ahead and hit the letter T on your keyboard, and that will start placing timings for you. And you'll see as we place timings, it's going to create a new timing on the visualizer here. So let's just go ahead and create a few. I'm not going to get too detailed, just to give you the basics here on how to create those timings. One other way that you can create timings is you can actually hit the letter T uh, as you're playing the song. So for example, if I start the song, say right here, and we go up and hit the play. So as we're playing the song, we can actually hit the letter T to create our timings. And don't worry if you don't get it perfect on the first go around. You can always add, delete, change these timings around however you see fit. Um, I just find that it's easier for me to kind of play the song and hit the letter T on the beats I want the changes to be placed, and then I go back in down the road later and I'll actually um, tweak these timings so they're exactly right on. So for example, we're going to say, let's put our cursor and mark right on this timestamp and let's zoom in. Now that we're zoomed in, you can see uh, we've got this part right here. And we're going to go ahead and place a timing on each of those little beats. So now that we've got those in place, We've got a timing on each beat so we can do a different lighting function on each of those if we wish. Um, you get the idea there. You can also click and drag each timing to change its position. So if you're just a little bit off, you can tweak it. You can also delete timings by just having the timing highlighted and hitting the delete key on your keyboard. Now when you do that, it's going to leave a gap between your timings, so you're going to want to drag over an existing timing, and now we've removed that one. Or we can go right back in and add another one by hitting the letter T. So it's real easy to go in, create your timings on the beats, where you want the effects to take place, um, zooming in, zooming out. So that's just a real quick overview of timings and how you add a timing, change a timing, remove a timing. Um, you are going to want to have all your timings in place before you start sequencing. Um, you will need to at least one timing on your song before you can drop an effect onto that group. So again, uh, we created a new sequence by going to File, New Sequence, or you could simply hit the new sequence button at the toolbar. After we created our new sequence, whether it be animation or audio, 
we went in and under timing right clicked, edited our display elements, and we added all of our groups that we previously made in our layout screen to our sequence. We then went ahead and put in all of our timings, um, whether that be playing the song and pressing T at the beat or manually putting in your timings wherever you see fit. So thanks for watching part 5 of my X-Lights video tutorial series. Please subscribe to our playlist. I will be adding additional videos as I can. And on the next tutorial, we will get into adding effects to our sequence.